What up, players? It's Wallbox Tamp in this mud. I've got Hitoshi Fukunabi here in um, English. Hitoshi is translated to mean highly motivated person, and Fuku means uh, to wipe or to mop, and Nabi means knoblar. So, so uh, I, I don't even know how I thought of this guy's name, but once I checked it, I was like, that's totally funny. He's uh, a highly motivated. Nablar that likes to clean and mop and also do kicks like this. So I gotta say thank you to Kane TLA, one of my subscribers, and um, someone who always posts comments and uh, helpful suggestions and stuff. He suggested doing a purple uh, face mask for the guy, and it's too bad this Nablar doesn't, his mask doesn't cover his whole face, but I thought I gotta do the Donatello purple. Um, just as an homage to your favorite Saturday morning cartoon and mine, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So right on, thanks Kane. And let me show you what I've got on the painting table as an update. Here is an ogre lead belcher from Nuln. And if you want to check out his story, then check out my blog, warbostay.blogspot.com. But um, he's painted in the colors of Nuln, and I gave him for his gut plate, I gave him the name, let's see if I can focus you in a little bit more, kind of see it, it says Old Cranky, which is the name of the canon, oh sorry about the light, oh, Old Cranky was the name of the canon when it was still in the uh, Empire Army before it was overrun by Beastmen and um, and uh, the ogres picked the cannons up and used it to help defend their uh, human allies. So, um, if you haven't been checking out my blog or my um, na blog on ogrestronghold.com, I highly suggest you go there. Check out ogrestronghold.com for a lot of awesome ogre information and um, army progress logs, battle reports, all that good stuff. It's a great site, it's a great community, especially for ogre players, but um, they've got, you know, army blogs for for, for other armies as well. But um, I kind of went there just as a resource to, to look for ideas for painting my ogre army, and they've proven to be a really great community. Um, and now they're even using some of my videos to put up on their blogs, so I want to say thank you to all the guys over there, and uh, keep up the great work. I'm going to keep trying to put out good ogre material, which is going to be harder now that the Vampire Counts teaser is out and they're they're almost here, but anyways, let me talk about why I chose Nuln. I decided to go with the black and the red for Nuln because they are um, the home of the Empire Imperial Gunnery School, and so it kind of, um, it always struck me weird that the ogre-led belchers didn't um, really have, to me, what I felt was a good reason to know like how to use human cannons and dwarf cannons and uh, in the fluff it just says that they whenever they fought against human or dwarf armies they thought oh wow those guns are super big and and loud and powerful and um, we're gonna take them and use them but um it it just didn't make any sense to me how they could repurpose them to use um when they have no real grasp of gunpowder or science or you know um chemistry or any of that stuff so, so, so my fluff, if you check out my blog, is about this group of ogre mercenaries who were hired by the Imperial Army to just be bodyguards for the cannons in the army. And uh, during the campaign, the engineers saw that the ogre's bodyguards had uh, a big respect and admiration for the cannons and all the damage that they caused. So he thought, oh, it might be fun to, to teach these ogres, you know, just the real, real basics of mathematics and chemistry and um, just to take their uh, educational <laughs> development one step up from I, I smash things for you, you give me food and money. So, um, so the blog carries on to say that these ogres started to learn really, really basic arithmetic and multiplication and mathematics and stuff about wind speed and range finding. And, um, and then there's a story about when the army was ambushed one night. and. Uh, the ogres had to, like all the engineers were killed and the ogres saw that the cannons weren't being used and the army was about to be overrun so they decided to help out by um, ripping the guns off the carriages and using what they learned to uh, to hold back the, the enemy. 
So, so there's a little bit of a background fluff to these guys and why, why I um, decided to do what I did. And then um, I just said that they grew to love these guns so much, and the Imperial Army was routed, so they, like no one was to tell them, "Hey, stop! You're gonna have to leave the cannons." Um, so they get to keep the cannons, and they just walk around with them. They've gotten to the point where they forgot their original names, ogre names, and they just call themselves by what the guns were called. So each of the ogres are going to have individual gut plates that have the names like Old Cranky, Long Tom, um, I forgot what the other two were, but I'm, I'm going to try to paint them on as heraldry for their gut plates. Give them each some imperial tattoos to show that they spent time almost like man-eaters fighting abroad and that's why they're a part of my ogre mercenary army. So let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to know what you think of my story, my fluff. Is it too much? Is it, uh, is it okay? Do you think it would fit in the rest? I, I think it fits the theme of the rest of my army, but I'd be really interested to know what you think. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're all having a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.